In this video we will show you how to create and launch a Matillion ETL for Snowflake instance using the Matillion Hub. As you'll see this is a specific example of a general process. The Matillion Hub provides access to all of our products and services and Matillion ETL is available to all subscribe Matillion Hub users. Matillion ETL supports a variety of platforms which you can investigate in the Hub or in the documentation. Your exact path will depend on your selections. Launching your Matillion ETL instance is a simple and straightforward process consisting of two key stages. First, we will use the Matillion Hub to create an instance and second, you will configure your instance in your chosen cloud provider console to launch it. As you can see from these flowcharts, all steps in the Matillion Hub are the same for every platform and warehouse. The later steps are specific to the Cloud Provider Console you choose. Before we begin, it's worth understanding what resources you're expected to have ready. Matillion ETL is available through the Hub, but is hosted on your Cloud Provider, which you must have an account for. Matillion ETL connects to a cloud data platform which you must also provision yourself and have appropriate account permissions and details ready to use. Finally, Matillion ETL uses services in your chosen cloud provider to support it, such as cloud storage and key management. It's recommended to have these set up in the same account you will be hosting the instance. In this example, we'll be launching Matillion ETL for Snowflake hosted on AWS. So we will need an AWS account and a Snowflake account with a warehouse database and schema available. We will also need an S3 storage bucket, which will be provided by a templated install later in the process. To begin, sign in to your existing Hub account, either with your Google or user credentials, and select your account. You can also create a new account if required. All of your launched instances are linked to your selected account, and only users of that account can view those instances. After selecting your account, you must choose a service. To add a new instance, select Add Matillion ETL Instance. The Credit Consumption Dashboard will be displayed if you sign in using this link. You'll just need to click on the Instances tab and the Create Instance button. Both of these methods will let you begin the process of creating a Matillion ETL instance. Here, we are required to choose our cloud provider. Matillion ETL can be used with different cloud providers. Your choice here demonstrates where your instance will be hosted and which cloud services it can easily connect to. It can also affect your cloud data platform options. For this example, we'll use AWS. Next, choose your cloud data platform. As you can see, instances hosted on AWS can support different cloud data platforms. For this example, we'll use Snowflake. At this point, you have two options to choose how you want to deploy your instance, either using a cloud formation template or Amazon Machine Image. Where possible, we recommend using a templated installation, so select Cloud Formation Template. Choose the region in which you want to run your Matillion ETL instance. Choose how to deploy your virtual private cloud. Select Deploy to an existing VPC in my AWS environment. You can also choose to set up a new VPC if required. As we're just getting started, we're going to choose Single Node as the recommended Matillion Cloud Formation template. Again, if you are looking for additional features, you can try some of the other suggested launch templates. Based on your selections, your cloud formation template will be pre-populated for you to review in AWS. Click Continue in AWS. As mentioned previously, you will need an existing AWS user account to continue. 
The AWS console will be displayed, where you will notice in the template section a JSON formatted template URL and your stack's description. As you scroll down the page, you will be required to complete various fields in order to configure your stack. Some of these fields are pre populated. Make your selections using the drop down menus. Talk to your cloud administrator to make the best choices for your organisation. You will not be able to complete the process until you tick the Capabilities Acknowledgement. To continue, click the Create Stack button, which will create your Matillion ETL instance ready for you to launch. Your EC2 instance status will initially be Create in Progress. Keep refreshing the list you see on screen to view the event updates. Once the status changes to Create Complete, switch to the Outputs tab. Make a note of your username. In this case, it will be ec2-user and the default password to launch your instance in Matillion ETL. To launch Matillion ETL, click the link and enter the credentials mentioned earlier. The Matillion ETL sign-in page will be displayed. Enter your credentials and click Login. You are required to associate your instance with your Matillion Hub account before you can launch your instance for the first time. Your Matillion ETL instance will open and you will immediately see a pop-up window appear. Click Associate Instance. You'll revisit the Matillion Hub where you'll need to sign in. Sign into your existing account. If you have multiple accounts, then you will need to choose which account to link this instance to. Select your account. The Associate this instance to your account page will be displayed. Type an appropriate instance name in the field provided. Tick the checkbox to agree and accept Matillion's end user agreement and click Associate. Click Launch Matillion ETL to confirm the association of your instance with your chosen account. If this is your account's first Matillion ETL instance association, then your 14 days free trial of Matillion ETL will begin. After associating and launching the instance, the final step is to set up your first project. This will take information for your chosen cloud data platform. You're now ready to transform your data using Matillion ETL. For full documentation on launching Matillion ETL instances, please visit the Matillion documentation site. And to keep up to date with the latest Matillion documentation videos, subscribe to the Matillion documentation channel.